Well, tonight we begin with a deep divide into ideas being floated around by the Biden administration to eliminate some of the nearly two trillion dollars worth of student loan debt impacting all Americans. Now, the president expressed openness to forgiving up to ten thousand dollars per borrower, and the White House has signaled that a decision could come in the weeks ahead. Ryan Jenkins goes 360 to hear why some support student loan debt forgiveness while others boldly oppose it. I am considering dealing with some debt reduction. It's been a conversation since President Biden was on the campaign trail and pressure is on. Just this week, attorneys general from eight states and U.S. territories, including all of Wisconsin's neighboring states, calling on President Biden to fully forgive student debt. And although the president has been hesitant in the past, he says he is now, quote, seriously considering forgiving up to $10,000 based on income. Tonight, we're going 360, talking to two Wisconsin lawmakers on both sides of the aisle and to a current UW-Whitewater student who calls the ideas being floated around by the president unfair. First, though, we start by hearing from a woman who pressed President Biden on this issue at a town hall right here in Milwaukee last year about why she believes debt forgiveness should happen soon. I think we just need to take at least a step one, which if $10,000 could be that, that would be wonderful. Jocelyn Fish first asked President Biden about student loan debt forgiveness when he was in Milwaukee for a CNN town hall. Now she anxiously waits to see what he'll decide to do on this topic. He seems to understand that people are struggling. Coming back from the pandemic has not been easy. We're still not back to normal. Um, so I don't know what has really taken this long to make any movement on it, but I'm hoping that now is the time that we're going to make steps to get there. While she says $50,000 would help the most, Fish is hoping for any amount of forgiveness. In addition to the debt, she says the government needs to begin addressing the cost of education as a whole. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin agrees. I definitely support uh, uh, a measure of debt relief. Baldwin now saying she does support ideas being floated around by the president, but that conversation is about more than debt elimination. I would like to deal with this issue both retroactively as well as prospectively. Forgiveness will not do anything to bring down the cost of higher education. On the other side of the aisle is Republican Wisconsin Congressman Brian Stile. While he agrees that the focus should be on the cost of education, he dismisses President Biden's ideas, worried about the impact to taxpayers. I think what the Biden administration is doing is incredibly unfair. The congressman fighting for those who have already paid off their loans and for those who chose not to go to college because of cost. He's shifting that burden uh, from the individual who received the benefit of going to college to all Americans, uh, regardless whether or not that American paid off uh, their student loans, worked through college, uh, or uh, maybe chose a path uh, that didn't involve taking out uh, student loans and they're working as a welder or an electrician. So what do students think about all of this? Many are in favor and many are not. Many people, I think, are quick to assume that all college students would be in favor of President Biden's plan. What do you think about this? I'm definitely opposed to this. Trenton Curbs is with the College Republicans of UW-Whitewater. For me, I, I, I went to college, I made that choice, I fully intend to pay off my loans. He says going to college is a choice and that people should have to, quote, work for what they have and agrees the cost of loan debt shouldn't be passed down to taxpayers. If we were to forgive the student loans now, it's only going to be passed down the road to students after they graduate. We're going to have to pay off the loans one way or another. In the meantime, the U.S. Department of Education has extended the current pause on student loan repayment until August 31st. I talked with an expert about exactly what you could be doing to set yourself up for success for when payments continue. You can find that extended interview on this story on TMJ4.com. Reporting at UW-Milwaukee, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. Ryan, thanks. We have gone 360 on other topics as well, including absentee ballots and fentanyl test strips. Scan this QR code with your phone to be taken to our website to watch.